Ever wondered what could happen if you did something awful like killing someone while on a bad trip? In this video, I'm going to go over the 1967 case of Robert Lipman, who killed his girlfriend because he was in an LSD-induced trance, basically. Well, back in the distant past of 1967, when people were rocking out to purple hairs and driving minis, Claudie Del Bar, pictured on the right here, moved from France to London to work as an au pair. That is a living nanny sort of thing for anyone who doesn't know. And she was in a relationship with a man called Robert Lipman, who I sadly don't have a confirmed picture of, so I can't put anything up. On the weekend of September 16th, 1967, Robert Lipman and Claudie Delbar were doing what I am told a lot of people were doing in the 1960s. They were getting groovy. They both took LSD in Robert's hotel room, which was in Chelsea, one of London's most affluent areas. And this is what I think must have been CIA interrogation levels of LSD, because Robert Lipman later reported that he thought he was doing battle with giant prehistoric fire-breathing monster snakes while falling to the center of the earth. Yeah, that sounds uh, stressful. Anyway, Robert got a massive shock when he woke up the next morning, however, as his now dead girlfriend, Claudie, was lying next to him with some eight inches of bedsheet shoved down her throat. She died from asphyxiation and two blows to the head that caused brain hemorrhaging. Robert then did what I think a lot of people would do, sadly, uh, he panicked. Robert booked out of his hotel on the morning of the 18th of September and fled the country. I don't know where he went, but he was extradited back to the UK shortly after for his trial. When he was brought to court, prosecutors originally wanted to convict him of murder. But without getting too technical, in the UK to be convicted of murder, it has to be shown that you intended to either kill someone or cause really nasty damage to someone, you know, what we call grievous bodily harm. Because Robert was in LSD-induced hyperspace, the jury actually accepted that he couldn't form the necessary mental element for this crime, so he couldn't actually form the intention to do this to Claudie. He was instead convicted of the lesser charge of manslaughter. So being on drugs actually did kind of help him out in the trial because it allowed him to defeat the attempts to prove that he intended to kill Claudie or intended to cause her grievous bodily harm. And while that might be frustrating to some, I guess maybe it kind of makes sense. What do you think? I mean, murder requires that you mean to kill someone or you mean to cause terrible damage to them. And can you be said to have meant it? Can Robert have been said to have meant it in this particular case if he genuinely, which we kind of have to take it on, the, take his word on the face of it because this is what was agreed at trial. Can he be said to have meant it if he thought he was fighting giant fire-breathing snakes? Robert didn't get away with it altogether though. Robert was successfully convicted of manslaughter, which is kind of a tear down from murder. And this is significant because manslaughter carries a much lighter sentence than murder. For example, if it had happened today and he was found guilty of murder, it would have been a mandatory life sentence. So from six years to a mandatory life sentence, it's a big difference. I honestly think Robert Lippmann got lucky in this case. I've talked to people about it, and I think the, the opinion that I see a lot is that people dislike the idea that someone gets lighter treatment or gets away with what would be a heavier charge because of their own reckless actions, you know, like taking too much LSD, basically. And I do think there's merit in that in that argument, you know? Could you imagine poor Claudie's parents, you know, their 18-year-old daughter has been killed by this man in quite a violent way, and then he gets lighter treatment or, you know, gets ultimately fewer years in prison because he took too much LSD. You know, he did something reckless himself and took too much LSD. I think that must be really disheartening, and I can't imagine what they would have felt going through the justice system at the time. On the other hand, because Robert Lippmann didn't intend to do it, as the jury had found, he is, one, arguably less culpable than someone who means to cause death or cause someone really nasty um, harm and injury, and two, he's less likely to repeat the behaviour because it was connected to his drug-induced state with his LSD. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below, and if you like these kinds of videos, you want to see new uploads, be sure to like and subscribe, that would uh, be a big help for me particularly as this channel's quite new. Also, to, small disclaimer, this is not legal advice. <laughs> it's something that should be quite obvious, but this is just a uh, this is just an explanation of the Lippmann case, just a telling of the story of Lippmann and Claudia Delbar.